Thank you for joining us. I'm Anna Redis Rodriguez with the WBZ News Update. Worcester police are investigating after a body was found in a burned car at the Hope Cemetery. There's a heavy police presence in the area and authorities are calling it a suspicious death. The New Hampshire Attorney General and Manchester Police are investigating the death of a two-year-old boy. Authorities called the toddler's death suspicious. Police were called to an apartment on Howe Street Monday afternoon where they found the child unconscious. The little boy was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. An autopsy will be performed later today. Framingham State is asking for the FBI's help to find the person responsible for leaving a racist note on campus. Five messages containing racial slurs have been found on school grounds since October, including one that was discovered by a freshman on Friday. The university is offering a reward for information that identifies the guilty party. We want to turn our attention now to the weather. Meteorologist David Epstein tracking some changing conditions. That's right, and uh, the rain that we have during the day today over coastal areas and a little bit of mixed precipitation inland will come to an end this evening. Temperatures falling back into the 20s very late at night, actually on towards sunrise tomorrow. Those winds are going to be picking up, and it does become quite chilly tomorrow as the winds get stronger. Temperatures really not going anywhere. Those wind chills down in the teens and single digits. The sun coming up at 7.05, a blend of clouds and sunshine. As we head for the afternoon hours, temperatures, look at this, not much change. If anything, they may even go down a degree or two. And with the wind, it's going to feel very cold as you're heading to home from work tomorrow. 20s will do it. Look at those winds gusting as high as 40 miles an hour. And you can see as I put this map in motion, this is Wednesday, right through the evening, the winds just gusting 20 to 40 miles an hour. So it is going to drag in that cold air, and that is going to be with us for several days. We'll also be watching little elements of low pressure move down over the next few days, but most of them look like they're going to be a southern track and just basically nick us, if at all. So we have the risk of some clouds and maybe a few snow showers, but I don't see any major snowstorms in sight. And this is reflected here in that seven-day forecast. You can see temperatures for today in the 40s, but tomorrow that midnight temperature is 30. It goes down after that. We don't even break freezing until sometime on Saturday. Anna Ritis. All right, Dave, thank you. I'm Anna Ritis Rodriguez. This has been a WBZ News Update.